<laughs> well hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel today I am out here fletching some arrows and I was like why not turn on the camera and just give you guys a little update on what is going on with my life because I feel like I do a good job of bringing you guys along on most of my adventures but I don't think I do a very good job of telling you you know like updates of what's going on in my life so that's what I want to do today I just want to give you guys a brief update on what is going on and what you can expect to see on my channel this fall because there are lots of things on the radar that I want you guys to be excited about because I'm excited about lots of good things. Before I jump in to the details of my fall and kind of an update on what's going on, I will be filming a Q&A video very soon in the near future. So I need you guys to comment below and ask questions Whatever you want to know, hunting related, non-hunting related, archery related, I don't care. I will answer them in one of my future videos very soon. So, you know what to do. Leave them down below and, hmm. And let's jump right into it. So, give you a rundown of what I'm working with here. I have these full metal jackets. They're five millimeter and 400 spine for my bow just fletching them because every time I start really practicing fletchings are bound to come off and although I've been traveling a lot and have not really had a ton of time to practice because you can't just take your bow like it's difficult I can't bring my bow with me everywhere I go so although I have not been practicing a lot when I do practice uh, fletchings have been coming off so you know for better or for worse whatever that means <laughs> whether that means I need to be practicing more or whether that means you know maybe it's good that I've been practicing as much as I have but fletchings have been coming off been actually honestly having a lot of problems with my bow I'm setting it up myself and I've set up two bows now on my own and for oh, this fletching towers is rough but for whatever reason they've been giving me or this particular bow has been giving me a lot of trouble and I've been struggling a lot to figure out what's going on so I would sort of give you the rundown, but I'm still not even sure. It's still a work in progress. Uh, I would say it's not yet huntable, and I have a tag that opens up in eight days, which is absolutely frightening. <gasps> hmm. So regardless, I'm here fletching arrows. So let me update you. Nick and I have been living in Pennsylvania, although I have been splitting my time out west and here in in the east and this fall we are going to be moving out west and living there full time with that we have a lot of tags pretty much once we get out there our tags will be open it'll be hunting season the whole entire time we are there and I'm starting with an antelope tag then it goes into archery elk then it rolls into rifle mule deer and you know there will probably be some small game hunting in between all of that but I am so excited so so excited because I also have a fall bear tag and last year Nick and I ran into a beautiful black bear during elk season, but I had my bow with me and not a rifle, and he was too far away for a shot with a bow. 
But this year, I think I will make bears a little bit more of a priority. I'm still gonna be out there hunting for elk and deer, but I might choose my spots a little more wisely. And there's a couple places that I've, you know, where I ran into the bear last year, a couple spots that I think will, you know, be better than others for the bear side of things. Getting glue all over my fingers. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've sat down with you guys and drank a beer with you. I used to do this all of the time on my channel and it, you know, it's about damn time that it came back. Because beer is good. Beer's good, my friends. I will probably try to film this Q&A in the car, like in the truck as we're driving because we are going to have like 12 hour days of driving. It's gonna be pretty painful. I feel like you can only listen to so many podcasts. And of course, I'm gonna be downloading like music playlists, but you know, after <laughs> a couple 12 hour days of driving, I think that it can get a little bit boring. So I'll film for you guys. Film that Q&A. So leave me good questions. And voila! One down. So I'm going to tip and tail this guy and I do use a different glue when I tip and tail. For gluing on the fletchings, I'm using this quick bond vein adhesive and for the tipping and tailing, this is just a fast gel. I don't know, the glue's a little bit different though. This one's a little bit thicker so I feel like you can kind of clump it on the tips and the edges and then it makes a nice sturdy sturdy hold on the veins that I like. So actually I'll just go ahead and do that now. The place that Nick and I are renting for the fall, it's just like a small single family home. I'm sure you guys will see it because we'll be filming there a lot. But the years past when we've been living out there, we've been staying in the town, which is great because you can walk to bars, you can walk to restaurants, yada yada but you can't just walk outside and shoot your bow you know you have to drive somewhere to shoot your bow which is different compared to here living in Pennsylvania I can walk into the backyard shoot my bow I love that so this season we'll have that we'll have a yard that we can shoot in every night every night that we're not hunting and it's like god 900 feet no not even 900 feet it's probably 400 feet from the river so we can fish too. So on nights that we're not hunting, I'll be able to shoot my bows and fish. It's starting to rain, so I hope you guys can't hear that. But what else? There are also horses on the property and chickens. So you guys are gonna see all of that. I'm just so excited. I cannot wait. But because the rain is falling, I'm gonna end it here. I know this video is short. I just I just wanted to, you know catch up a little bit and just let you guys know that I'll be out west this fall and let you know that I'm still struggling with my bow but that I'm still doing it myself and I'll obviously keep you guys updated on all of that as the season goes as well because we are very close. My tag opens up in nine days. Today is Sunday. It opens up next Tuesday so fast approaching and it is exciting but thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to leave those comments below and i will see you guys in the next video cheers <laughs>